Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we're going to put the Enterprise I and the Enterprise J up against the Quantum Torpedo version of Deep Space Nine. Now on paper, you may think, well, the I and J are more advanced. However, the S9 could engage a large conventional fleet of ships and survive. So with only two future ships, this may just balance out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. So my thinking is, even though we're in more advanced ships from a few hundred years in the future, we've only got two of them, and Deep Space Nine could engage a very large conventional fleet. And look at that, their shields are holding. Got the blue disco ball weapon there from the pizza cutter. Wow. What weapons do we have? We've got advanced quantums and we got chronoton torpedoes. I think we're going to need those, aren't we? Their shields are holding. Gosh. Quantum torpedoes are still serious business. <laughs> Even in the future, from the looks of it. Okay, what happened to our Cronus on torpedoes? Were they ineffective? Seriously, I'm getting a bit worried now. What's going on? They're not getting through the shield. What? Oh, great. There goes my backup plan. Not good. Wow, what are they made out of, DS9 shield? Oh dear. Looks like Starfleet's seriously upgrade. Whoa, square torpedoes. I've not seen those for a while. The terrifying square torpedoes of doom. Enterprise I has some hull damage, as do we. Gosh. I'm gonna try something here, actually. Full spread. Ooh, look at that. A lot of blue. Might have to fire full spread first here. Oh, that looks so cool. I'm thinking engaging from a distance might be our best bet. Then we're out of range of the torpedoes. Wow, look at that. Oh, the Enterprise Eye's in trouble! Oh. We're in range again. This ship is so fast, the Enterprise J. They got in range without realizing. Oh, the Enterprise Eye's in big trouble. There it goes. Crazy. Can you imagine if we could send Deep Space Nine into high warp with that blue weapon? That would be really cool. Don't think it's going to happen, though. <laughs> I'm amazed how well this station is doing. Almost like we need to send a distress call here. Maybe we should, actually. I wonder who'll turn up, if anybody. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it was a Defiant? <laughs> and it changes sides and starts attacking us. We're weakening the shield. That's a good first step. Man. Nobody's answering our distress call. Looks like we've got no friends. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. You know what's happened. What's that? 
The sonar! Why are they coming after us? What beef have they got with us? Oh no! Oh wait, unknown ship, what's this? Hmm. Oh, the Ferengi! Walk! My dear friend! Oh, what's happening now? Oh, we've got an ally coming in. Who is it? Oh. Oh no, the sensor! <laughs> no! Oh no, no, no. Not good. Hang on. Can we repair the sensors? I want to see who's come in. Oh dear, that's gonna... Oh gosh, no! Can we warp? Can we warp? We can warp. Oh. Right. Now I want to know, and the game decided to crash, but I think we have to give that one to Deep Space Nine. Also the fact that the sonar decided to turn up, and strangely Quark turned up as well. Hmm. The Enterprise J was in pretty bad shape by that point. Well thanks for watching guys, bye for now.